Hey guys, it's Caitlin and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, um, I make videos almost every week about lifestyle, beauty, and soul. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back and checking out my content. Today's video, I'm so excited. Um, I went to the Bath and Body Works semi-annual sale. I also picked up this bag right here and I can't wait to share my purchases with all of you. I always stock up at the after Christmas sale and the sale they have in the summer and that's pretty much the only time I buy from Bath & Body Works which is why I have such a huge haul. So if you're into that kind of stuff then go ahead and keep watching and let's just get right to it. Also at the end of this video I did add some other sales um, that I picked up. Um, just a few little things, so if you're into that, um, then stay tuned for the whole entire video. So first up, I'm going to start with my little bag right here. I went to two separate Bath & Body Works to see what I could get my hands on. One of the best deals they had was the $3 soaps. So I picked up Tahati Island Margarita. And I'll just give you guys like a scent preview and what I think the scents smell like. Um... So this is like very fresh. It's not overbearing with the coconut. Um, it kind of smells like grass even. Um, so I'm not sure if a margarita is supposed to smell like grass, but I did like the scent of it. I thought the bottle was pretty and it would be a nice summertime soap. That's the thing about the sale with Bath & Body Works. It's kind of like all the scents they're getting rid of or all the seasonal scents or some like throwback scents. So you may not get exactly what you're looking for, but the deals are just out of this world. I also picked up Gardenia in Spring Rain. It's this pretty blue soap with this flower. Um, I really liked it. I thought it was a really, really pretty look for spring. And this just smells like fresh flowers. The Gardenia is pretty strong, but you can smell like the rain scent with it, so it kind of balances it out. And this, it's this nice um, floral scent, but it's not too sweet. Next, I purchased Bermuda Plumeria Sunrise. This one also has coconut oil. It's this awesome pink color. And this smells like berries and um, has a hibiscus undertone to it. Out of those three, I would have to say that probably the Gardenia one was my favorite. But I do tend to gravitate towards more floral scented things. I love Bath & Body Works shower gels. They're the shower gels I use every single day. And even though I have sensitive skin, it doesn't really bother my skin. Um, I picked up the Sweet Magnolia in Clementine. It's this pretty green color. I'm so excited. These are all such great scents for spring. Mmm, this smells so good. You can really smell the magnolia and the clementine. Um, and the clementine is like pretty powerful. It's not completely like swallowed up by the magnolia scent. This is just again a really fresh and floral scent. But again, it's also not too overbearing. And then I picked up Winter White Jasmine Life of the Party, which looks like a really fun scent for New Year's. Mm, and this just smells like this jasmine, you like lavender scent. Um, this is very like sensual yet clean, which is another scent that I tend to gravitate towards. I like very clean scents. Um, I don't like like those like Hollister, like Abercrombie, like those very, very overbearing men cologne scents. So if you gravitate towards that, um, then this haul isn't isn't the type of scents that you would really be looking for. And this does have hints of white amber, vanilla musk, jasmine, and freshia in it. So yeah, I think the vanilla musk, you can definitely tell that subtle sensual scent. Say that three times fast, subtle sensual scent. <laughs> they also had wallflowers for $3, and I only picked up one because lately I've been more into burning candles than the wallflowers, and I got Seaside and Gardenia. They had mostly like very summery scents at the Bath & Body Works that I went to. I think they also had Japanese Cherry Blossom was $3 as well. So that's what I picked up at this one, Bath & Body Works. 
and I think this was like around $25 for all this. So not too expensive. But I was not satisfied with that Bath & Body Works. I did not think I got enough shower gels. So I had to go to a Bath & Body Works in Washington, um, which is about a half hour from my house. I picked up the pumpkin cupcake hand soap and this just smells like a vanilla pumpkin. It's definitely sweeter, but I love it. It's a great fall scent. I know I said I don't love things that are like too sweet, but I do like my pumpkin scents. That might be maybe the exception to the rule. I also picked up winter candy apple. I thought this is perfect for next year and winter candy apple is just you can smell the apple, but it has like a bit of a spice to it, almost like a, I would say like a nutmeg or like a vanilla like undertone. Um, and I like it in the hand soap, but I definitely wouldn't like to like spray it on my body. That's like a little too much for me. I also picked up this sweet cinnamon pumpkin, which is not as sweet as the, um, what's it called? Pumpkin cupcake. It's more of a, it's like more of a muted pumpkin and you can smell the cinnamon and um, spiced clove is what they call it. I thought this bottle was really pretty with the plaid. So again, like all the soaps were $3. So I was like, I might as well like stock up for the whole entire year. I also picked up um, Vanilla Bean Noel, which is just like a basic vanilla scent if you've never smelled it before, but I think we've all smelled that one before. I picked up some more shower gels and all the shower gels were like 75% off or 50% um, off. And this is Sunset Guava Colada. Really pretty picture of a sunset. This has undertones of coconut mixed with the guava. So it's like a fruity coconutty scent. I also picked up the Blackberry and Basil shower gel. This looks like a real throwback. I've never seen this scent before. And I don't think I ever smelled it either. This smells really, really good. You definitely can smell the blackberries. Mm. It also smells like, like a blackberry vanilla, I would say. I can't really smell the basil too much. I also picked up Vanilla Bean Noel. Such a great classic vanilla. And the packaging is so pretty. Finally, I picked up three candles. The candles were all half off. And I felt really lucky to have gotten a rose water and ivy candle. Let me rephrase, not all of the candles were half off. Select candles were half off. All of the candles I picked up were half off. And the rose water and ivy is a new scent from them. So I couldn't believe it was half off, but I only saw one. And I went on like the second day of the sale. I love, love, love the rose scent really in anything. This is just so clean, so pure, um, mixed with a great light floral. That's really like my go-to scent. So I love this and I thought the packaging was so pretty with, excuse me, with these big flowers on the sides. So I was like really stoked about that. And then um, I just like love the top of this candle. I thought that was so pretty. This is Mary Mimosa. There was only one of these as well. Mm. And this does, this smells like very, this does not smell like a mimosa to me. I don't smell orange juice. I do smell like a champagne scent, but I would say it's like a florally champagne scent, not really orange but I loved it. Again, it's like very clean with a bit of a floral musky undertone. Perfect for the new year. And then finally, this has probably been one of my favorite new scents, the Fresh Balsam. And this just smells like Christmas trees with a bit of eucalyptus. And it's so, so fresh. Mm, I love it. Oh, I can't get enough of it. It's so clean, so fresh. And I thought it was even perfect for burning year round. I don't think it has to be like exclusively Christmassy. But anyway, that was my huge 
and fun Bath and Body Works sale. Um, comment down below if you guys shopped the sale this year, if you um, were maybe a little bit disappointed with it. I thought I was going to get more shower gels, that's for sure. But um, what's your favorite scent? What did you guys get? If you thought it was just as good as the years prior, maybe it was just the stores around my house, maybe everything was all picked over, maybe I should have went out on the first day. I don't know. But um, it is always really fun to stock up on all of their products. Next, I'm going to share two other little things that I picked up at the mall. Um, I got a Yankee candle as well. It was $8. Again, like most of their fall or winter scents were really what was discounted. And I got cinnamon, pumpkin, and vanilla. Mm, and this just smells so, so good. Um, it's just like the perfect blend of cinnamon, pumpkin, and vanilla. It's not too overbearing. It's just just kind of smells like fall leaves mixed with like vanilla and I think I might just burn this in January just because I love pumpkin scented things but um moving on to another topic I did pick some things up at Soma I love Soma I think they have some really really quality underwear I picked up this really nice um red pair and this is called the Vanishing Edge Hipster. And these are literally the best pairs of underwear to wear with leggings. If you don't like thongs, if you don't like like lacy things, I don't. They really annoy me. Um, so these are like the perfect pair of underwear to wear with like leggings or really tight pants or tight jeans. Um, you can't see them at all. They are just a total game changer for me. Um, I got like three pairs back in the summer and this will be my fourth pair, so I was super excited. And these were, I got this for $14.99, they're originally $16, so it wasn't like that much of a discount, but um, I didn't have to like order it online, so I figured I would just pick it up and a little bit of a discount is better than none. I also tried out their bras, which were really discounted. Originally, they're $46 and I got them for $24.99. And I got this in light nude. I've never tried their bras before, but I really like loved how there's no underwire, but it's still like very shapely, um, a very versatile type of bra, a little bit of padding, but not too much. It feels very comfortable and very lightweight, so I'm super stoked to try that out. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Remember to comment your favorite Bath & Body Works finds down below, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye!